Hello, we're do, doing two really nice uh, old oil paintings in Malta. Now these are a pair of 18th century oils on canvas, 18th century meaning 17 something. When you're in Malta or Italy or France and you look at these old paintings, you have to consider whether they are copies or originals. Are they, they are original in the sense they are an original oil painting, they're not a print, but they're not a, necessarily an original scene. In this case, I haven't found the exact source painting. Uh, the assumption here is there is a source painting because the, the painting is fairly basic. It's accomplished, but it hasn't got the crispness of one you get in a museum, a first edition. So I found a painting by Cornelis de Vos in 1630, which isn't the same, exactly the same. It's got the same, very, very similar mood, very sim similar subject matter. And what, what the subject here is, about the chasing of um, Daphne by Apollo. That is the story. So what happens fundamentally, this is a terrible, very, very small chop down, but I'll tell you, something, something like this. Cupid shoots shoot an arrow at Apollo, he falls in love with Daphne. He chases Daphne, she doesn't want to know. She runs away. Her father is Peneus, the, the river god. He has some magic, he hides her, and he rescues her. So, if this was a storybook or cartoon, there would be different scenes. And as I've put in my little write up, as is often the case, I think originally there would have been more paintings, there would have been six or eight or twelve. But the other reason there would have been more paintings is both of these are facing the same way, the action is facing the same way. You don't get two paintings in isolation where they're facing the same way. You have one facing that way and you have another one facing that way. If they don't have that balance, it's wrong. You, you would call that nowadays feng shui. Uh, it's not feng shui, but it breaks the code. It, it aesthetically doesn't work. So you have two facing that way. That is a limitation. That, if that was facing that way and that was facing that way. So I think you'll find in this original set there would have been some more facing the other way and it would have worked. Right, uh, without waffling on too much further, I'll just drill down a little bit. There, there are laurel, laurel sprouting from fingers, there are little trees. In another of the elements of the story, she is hidden in a tree. A laurel grows around her and actually lifts her off the ground. This laurel alludes to, to Peneus and this, the, the flights of Daphne, you could call it. The river god, got a crown, or a coronet, a crown, he's a god, he's big like Hercules. The daughter, Daphne, is the same in both, blue, uh, uh, blue cloak, pearl, pearl uh, bracelet, nice belt. She's obviously a precious person in the, the Peneus picture, you have the river, you have some horses, and you have, as I say in the right, there's a lot of flow, there's, there's a lot of fabric in movement. They're very dynamic, I mean, they're, they're not animated, but in essence, the, you know, there's a lot going on. They're quite exciting dynamic pictures, which is the aim of the artist. Right, we've talked about the scene. I'm not an expert in classical mythology, but you can look it up, it's all there for someone to look at. You can, you can find it. That just to give you a, a flavour. It's def definitely Apollo chasing Panea, uh, Apollo chasing Daphne because of the sprouting fingers. No, no question, it's this, it's this scene. And there are lots of depictions of that scene done in lots of similar ways. But as I said, I haven't found that is that one. So I can't attribute the original to anyone. I think I could say that they're Italian school depictions of Daphne and Apollo reliably. Probably Maltese or Italian or Sicilian. I know it doesn't narrow it down very much, but that's the limit of my knowledge, I'm afraid. These pictures have got a lot of historical repairs, and the historical repairs are basic. It's been relined, it's been relined to hold the original canvas together. It gives the person who owns an opportunity to retouch any flaking, to recolour it, to bind it together. I think that was done 50, 100 years ago. It doesn't look like it's done recently. The frame, I believe, is, a, is a possibly the original frame. 
This frame looks 18th century to me. The hook looks 18th century, but it probably isn't 18th century. It certainly looks it. The screws aren't 18th century. But this is it's the right sort of thing. These repairs are block board, 1950s material, horrible repair, horrible repair. Plywood, horrible repair. But they're nice frames, they're old frames. And when you look down the profile, they're not machine cut frames. They have a wave to them. I don't know whether I can show it to you, but you'll see that there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a certain undulation in profile. In fact, one or two of these, these pieces would have got a twist, minor twist, twist. Won't, won't harm the, the hanging, but they're not machine made. They're early, they're early frames. I like the frames a lot. Now, at some stage, someone's had them regilded, and I think that they've been regilded recently. I would say that they've been regilded in the last five years. The condition is too good. There's no damage to the frames at all. The problem with the frames is they have, um, to be fair to them, they've used silver gilt and shellac, not gold leaf. My belief is originally they would have had silver gilt and shellac, which looks like gold to untrained eye. I noticed that they were silver leaf because I've done courses here about this gilding technique. You can't see it unless you get really up close, you know what to look for. The frame, having been the original frame, having had poss possibly some regessoing, they haven't taken the opportunity to make the gesso 100% smooth. Now there's two, there's two things, it's too expensive to do it, very difficult to do it. Do they want to make it look perfect? Do they want the gesso to have some lumps? They've left it lumpy. You can see this is an old frame. It's not only got the twists, it's got knocks and dings, which have been gilded over, faux gilded over. But if, because they haven't gone to that very fine level of gesso, the silver, the silver leaf isn't particularly bright. These are quite muted. They're in keeping, they're mellow. When I look at those frames, I know that they're, they're, they've re, they have a recent finish. The effect is okay, not beautiful, but I give them a nine out of 10. So they have these, ha these hanging hooks, which do look great. Very unusual to find them. I love them when, when I get the picture in Malta. I have a lot of pictures in Malta. When I have these hooks, I, I like to see them. I think decoratively, they look very impressive. So we have two pictures. They're quite a nice wide picture. They're um, not landscape pictures. The frame is lands landscape shaped. They're tall, they're wide. They are a pair. They are old pictures. They're valuable pictures. They're not depressing religious pictures. They're not showing crucifixion. They're not showing endurance or suffering or cruelty. They're showing colourful characters. The story has a happy ending. So I, I think the subject is good. Very, very, very desirable. Uh, it's not going to depress anyone or upset anyone. They're not spooky, they're not dark. Yes, they've had work on them. Yes, they're not in perfect condition, but then they are impressive pictures. There's two pictures. You've got to look at the prices in London and what they, what they sell for. These are Italian school classical scenes. There's two of them. They are originals, they're 18th century. You do not want to look at the prices in London because it will <laughs> blow your mind. These are not, not particularly fine. As I say, they're Italian school. They're not particularly finely painted, but they're well painted. And as, a, as, a, as an aesthetic decorative object, they're very impactful. That's a bit of filling, I've got a lot to mention. There are some areas of filling and touching. Not done particularly well. It's done adequately for, com for, 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 for commercial use. It's done, it's done adequately. For a collector or an academic, they would, they would cringe. If you took it to a, a proper restorer in Malta or London and you showed them those, they would do this. They'd shake their heads. But you know, do you want to spend five or six thousand pounds on a pair of pictures that aren't worth five or six thousand pounds? You can't, you can't do it, it's stupid. So you have to find this balance. And I often tell people, buy the pictures as they are, dip it on the wall, think of the money that you were gonna spend on restoration and buy some other pictures. So you can have two pictures where commercially you've overspent on the value. They look fantastic and of course it's nice to restore them. But commercially, the money's gone. Why not spend the money, have another two pictures? You can have them restored down the line. Restoration and techniques are improving all the time. They're getting better and better at it. And my, my, my feeling is it's become, begun to become cheaper and cheaper because more and more people are doing it. The, the techniques are advancing, the materials are advancing. Um, and I am not sure whether 
a completely restored antique painting that looks like it's new, is that appealing? I go to museums and I see these pictures and they have this glass, glassy, waxy finish. You, you, you don't touch them in reality, but they look like they've got sugar on them, they, they're gummy. And I'm not sure really that that's the effect you want. If you go into a stately home in England and you look at your paintings, they're not shiny. The only the restored ones are shiny and they look like they've just been restored. Is that what you, is that the look you really want? So here you have a mid-sheen. I quite like the sheen, it's not too shiny. It doesn't look like it needs to be restored. And it doesn't look like it has been restored. It looks like it's in from an old house and it's been hanging on the wall for, for decades. That's quite an appealing thing. So it has things that are wrong with them. It has things that are right with them. And you have to look at the, the balance between what you're spending. Um, and, that's, and again, when you do your research and look them up, look at, look at the prices that dealers want and auctions achieve, you, you can piece together the market and then you can form your own opinion. Thanks very much for looking.